suit, Tanner, yes. There, this includes using um, substitute teachers to teach math through an online platform called Edgenuity. The shortage of teachers has schools like Beulah Middle School finding workarounds. Substitutes are filling the void, and they're also using an online platform called Edgenuity. While students are still learning, some parents aren't happy with the options. The school district gave me a statement that says, in part, while it would clearly be our desire to have certified teachers in every instructional position within our district, the reality for us, as is for many employers and industries at this time, is that we have a labor shortage. Teacher recruiter Milia Adams tells me the teacher shortage is a result of fewer people going into the teaching field. But she also says not all teachers have to have an education degree. You do have to be able to want to teach and want to explore those things with your students. I think that, you know, it's always in the best interest to have a teacher that is qualified in the subject area for the background knowledge. But even those teachers that don't have it from an educational standpoint, they do get it. I'm so excited that our district has the resources and the tools to train teachers on how to teach. We also have various standards that we follow. These alternative certifications have some parents concerned about the quality of their child's education. Adam says they shouldn't worry. I can't emphasize enough that because of our students' ability to learn in different ways, those t the teachers teach in different ways, and so the quality of instruction is based on what is actually occurring in that classroom, which is why we use a lot of data points to look at where our students' weaknesses are, to build on those weaknesses and where their strengths are to enhance those strengths. Math test scores since COVID has been on a decline. Experts say in part because of remote learning. Many parents are now turning to tutoring centers such as Mathnasium in Pensacola. The owner tells me she has seen a lot more students since COVID, and about 90% of those students are behind in their learning. Adam says right now, Escambia County Public Schools are staffed at about 85% for the next school year. She says they're still looking to fill in the remaining 15% at all school levels in all subjects. Live in the studio, Shade Ray, WEAR News.